Hey, New Covenant Academy, Matt Searson here, your Chief Academic Officer, and I am in the auditorium of Liberty Campus. And for those of you who are familiar with this space, you'll notice if you're looking over my shoulder that the pews on the main floor are gone. We had an awesome group of volunteers that came in and in less than an hour had all of the pews taken apart and moved outside. And uh, we are happy to report that all of the pews found a home we did not have to put any pews down, which would have been really sad. Um, but with the removal of the pews, what it does is just give us so much more flexibility. And uh, in a year, if we ever needed flexibility in space, this is the year. And so you'll notice the chairs are still set up, socially distanced, um, because on Monday we had 80 faculty and staff that came together to kick off our back to school week. And uh, we were able to come together um, physically together for the first time since March. And, uh, and we had just a great time of, of praise and worship. We were challenged and encouraged by Pastor Chantha of Seminole Baptist. And, uh, and the rest of that morning we spent going through our COVID back to school plan, looking at the protocols, the procedures. Um, it's gonna take all of the groups at NCA, whether it's teachers, administrators, custodians, kitchen workers, um, counselors, um, just all of those various groups working together and working together with our families, um, you know, and probably the, the priority um, of, of, our, of our plan is that we are all taking individual responsibility to monitor our symptoms, to monitor our health or our students' health, and that if we are not feeling well and uh, if we are showing any symptoms that we stay home. That is gonna be so important. And so for the rest of this week, we are getting ready for students and we are so excited to have our students back on campus this coming Monday. So principals and teachers are working um, in their respective divisions to look at the overall COVID back to school plan and then what that will look like at the elementary level or intermediate or junior high or high school. And so we are working not just about the plan itself, but how we can transition students well in light of everything that happened last March. But as we get our students back and we think about um, their social emotional development, spiritual development, academic development, um, we wanna be able to minister to them in all those, those areas and be prepared to do so. You know, part of this has also been processing with our faculty and staff, um, the things that they've also been through. And we've gotta be able to take care of each other. Um, this is a stressful time, we'll not deny that. Um, but we have the support of each other. Most important, we have a God that is in control, a God that is greater than this pandemic moment or this cultural moment. And uh, we are just so looking forward to having our students back and partnering with parents um, to, walk, um, to walk this moment um, of time, walk that out as Christians. And what does that look like? Um, in, the, in, the, in the lives of our kids as it relates to their faith and their biblical worldview. So we are so excited to have people back um, and, and uh, our plan is to um, you know, implement those protocols and those procedures and our goal is that um, as COVID um, impacts our school, which it's going to um, in some form or another, but our goal is that it's minimized, that the impact is minimized. And so if we have cases where um, students maybe have to stay home for a period of time, we continue, we continue to, to educate them um, as, we, as we work through those plans, but being able to have school um, continue. And I know a question that has come up has been, you know, Matt, what would it take to, to cause us to shut down or to go virtual? And that really depends on where um, the impact would be felt. And uh, you know, I, I think um, our biggest challenge is keeping our, our faculty and staff um, healthy um, and well. We cannot run the school without those individuals. And so that's gonna be important, um, but it is gonna be something that we will continue to communicate with you. We will be working with our health department as cases arise. And again, our, our, our hope is that we can continue to work through those and continue to have school and address cases individually as they happen. And so uh, we would ask that on Monday, as we're thinking about that first day of school, some things that um, we put out there in that back to school plan that if you haven't read, you can go to our dashboard or our website. Um, the back to school packet also has important information regarding the first day of school. Um, but a big change is that we're asking um, parents to not 
walk their students into the building. We are limiting access to our building. We also want to limit um, crowds gathering outside of our building. And so we're asking that everyone use the car line for drop off and pick up. We've got some great things planned for that first day to still make that day special. We're just doing things a little bit different. And so we're appreciative of the development office and Glenda and, and all her volunteers that um, want to make that first day of school special for our students. So um, we just encourage you to you know, be in communication with your child's teacher. If, if your child is feeling a little nervous about school, email them. Let them know. If your child is excited and can't wait to get to school, let them know that as well. Um, as we prepare for our kids, that kind of feedback is important. If you have questions or concerns, um, you can also um, reach out to myself or our principals, and we want to be in communication with you and keep those lines of communication open. Um, we are also excited about a new app free, a free app that will become rolled out pretty soon. You'll be hearing more about that, and we hope that will also help improve communication. So um, we ask that you continue to be in prayer, continue to be a prayer for our teachers, our staff, our families, um, that we lift each other up. And uh, as, we, as we look forward to having students and uh, we walk this road um, together, um, but, but most of all, um, that we have a God that is in control and uh, we can cast those anxieties on him. And, uh, and uh, we are just so looking forward to getting our kids back in the building. And so we look forward to seeing you and uh, hope you have a great rest of your summer, the few days that you have left, and we will see you next Monday.